Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 41. Alright, so, a bunch of stuff I want to get done to this part, so let's get to it. Number one, I moved my armor stand up there, and I moved my pool a little bit, and I built this dog pen so that I could have my dog in wandering mode, so it could wander around and auto-feed itself from the dog bowl over here. Problem, though, is, as I rapidly discovered, I like to leave Minecraft running overnight whenever possible so that my mass fabs over here can run oh they're good they've got some matter in them and so that I can be building up a nice large stack of matter which as you can see I'm up over nine stacks already the uh, problem though is that means that basically they're gonna starve to death overnight which is going to be extremely expensive in terms of cake because and just from pork and all that and so I've decided to reallocate its skill points it um I do have a stick because <laughs> right now these are its skill points and it's got five points in puppy eyes and originally I had done that so that I could get stuff from the villagers because Puppy Eyes lets you get items from villagers and occasionally apples which, because back then, apples were rarer and thus more useful but now they're not quite so rare and so their value has decreased a bit. So I'm going to get rid of Puppy Eyes and instead I'm going to get Happy Eater. And what Happy Eater does is it lets it eat things like fish and rotten flesh because then with it being able to eat rotten flesh I'll be able to set up the mob grinder to kill zombies and then I'll have some pipes that bring the food and dump it into the dog bowl and then I can eat the food and that way it will stay fully fed all the time. So to do that you take some collar shears which are built by putting four bones around the shears and you right click it and now it should reset its skill points or something Hmm. Execute again. Or I left click it. No, I guess I don't left click it. Uh, okay, one second. Hmm. Well, it says it works. It's probably, now that I think about it, it's probably because it's listed as incapacitated. So, do that. And of course, it's hungry. There you go. Now you're not so hungry. Now... Hmm. It's not resetting. There it goes. Maybe it still has that random chance thing. And then, so now it's a wild doggy wolves. Or doggy towns wolf. So then I tame it again. The training treat. Hmm. I think I thought it was you click it with a training tree. See, I don't need the shears anymore, so let's put those away. Um, it's definitely because I can't click it with a stick anymore. Training treat. What other treats are there? Training treat. Super training. Special treat. Hmm. I'm clicking with a training treat, nothing's happening. Mm, wrong button. Hmm. It's not a bone or anything like that, is it? Ah, there we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> now it's on my head. Great. I've forgotten about that feature. Uh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I forget I have such low ceilings. I'll go in there. Okay. Set to docile mode. Where are your stats? Awesome. Alright. So. Hellhound. Wolf mount. 
Pillow Paw, Fisher Dog, and Happy Eater. There we go. And done. And so now, in theory, hooray, it works perfectly. All right, now just need to grab a sign, put these back up there, these back up there. Oh, no, 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 it's an arrow. There we go, wandering mode. Now, put that up there, and that there, that there, that there. Hang on to that, put that up there, there. And then I take these things, put that back up there, there, that, okay. So now you can stay in wandering mode, and I'll come back over here and get to work on this. So the way I figured out how to do this is I put stone pipe like that, redstone down, because uh, I don't want it like that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, I don't have any smooth stone. Alright, so run back. Because I'd like it to be nice and smooth stone. In that spot. Okay. Come over here and. Down the smooth stone and the dog bowl. Bust that for the moment. Put that there. That's an obsidian transport pipe. What obsidian pipes do is when powered, in this case by a redstone engine, they suck uh, items that are just loose near into them. What I'm setting up here is a system where the items will get pushed into the dog bowl, but and once the dog bowl is full, they'll pop out and then get sucked in by this pipe here and taken back this way. There, This way, I can set up the system such that I won't, um, of course now I can't reach that lever, I won't ever have like 10 million items on the ground, they'll just eventually uh, there we go. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it to a uh, careful uh, nether rack with fire. A, another a, a piece of nether rack that I'll light on fire so that they'll just automatically get disposed of. Right. So now just need to rig the other pipe. So that is the exit pipe. The pipe that will get the items to it is actually down below. So go like let's see. I believe I put my diamond pipe there. Because I'm only gonna sort out the rotten flesh. So rotten flesh is the red bar. I want rotten flesh to go that way, everything else. Yeah, just for the sake of testing this, let's give this a quick test. Okay. Rotten flesh just goes through, goes through, and goes right into the dog bowl. Awesome. So I'm going to put the rest of my rotten flesh up here, like that. Okay, good, good, good. Now, I just got to go down here. Okay. So, let's see. Need to go up here. Past my redstone wiring. There we go. Now let's see, this is gonna have to 
Hmm. I think I'm going to need some iron pipe in here or something. To be really careful that I don't break anything accidentally. Don't have any iron pipe on me at the moment, so I'm just going to let's see. Well, if I'm going to use iron pipe, it doesn't really matter where I cut it across. So, let's see, it cut across there, but like that, and I'll just sort that out later. All right. So now I'm going to need some more smooth stone, which I've already got, and some more glass, which, hmm, this is my last piece of sand. <laughs> that would be pretty funny if I have to go hunting for sand because I ran out of glass. Do that. Now let's go down here and set up this part of the operation. So. Put obsidian pipe there. Stone pipe there. <laughs> okay. Like that. Like that. Okay. Actually, if I take this and put it here, like that, 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 then I'll power both of them. this along the floor like so. Yeah, I'm going over here. So. I'm out of stone pipe. Great. Okay, so eventually it'll come along this way, and then it'll go up here. Oops. It'll come up here like this. And it'll connect to there. Okay, so let's just need to go get more glass. Oh, wrong ladder. See, to get more glass, I'm gonna need either sand or I suppose I could use some of my matter. What's the recipe for it? Hmm, there is no recipe for it. Well, there's a recipe for sandstone. Hmm. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I can macerate. That's how I was getting it. I remember now. You can crush rock into sand. Okay. Hmm, that should do. I really like how fast these things are. I mean, it means that it saves me video editing because I don't have to do any editing after the fact. I can just literally do it all right there on camera. All right, so now that I've got, oh, hang on, to go down here. So now that I've got that, there should be more than enough. Okay, so now it will come along this way. So let's see how f how's this doing on speed? Oh. <laughs> Did not mean to throw that down there, but oh well. Looks like it's doing okay. So I think I'll put a gold pipe right here. 
And I don't have any redstone on me. Okay, I'll power it later. And that will give me the speed boost along here. Oh, I don't want to use those. Not that it really matters, but... Okay. And then it will come up like so. And actually, I think that could be... Yeah, I don't have any gold pipe on me. I was going to say that would be a good spot for a gold pipe, but we'll see how it goes. There we go. And that will take it all the way up there. And we'll definitely need a gold pipe. But I'll see exactly where it slows down so I can get the maximum usage. Although if I... Uh, hmm occurred to me that if I make another batch of gold pipes, then it won't really matter where I put them, because I'll have eight of them. <laughs> Man, that sure took a lot of gold when I did that. Um, and I guess I've got plenty of gold, so it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I don't have any... Huh. I thought for sure I had... More gold pipe, but, uh, whatever. Alright, two. There we go. Alright, like that, like that, and like that. Eight gold transport pipes. And I'm going to need... It's a redstone. And a couple of those. So I can do that. And that. Alright, now let's see. So now, if I drop a piece of stone here. It'll go through here. And I, it's not powered, but alright. Okay. Okay, like that. Did it already go by? I didn't see. Must have already gone by. Oh shoot, did not mean to throw my diamond drill in there. I really should be more careful what I've got holding in my hand when I push that button. Although I guess that's the point in that making it a button that's not... Because uh, I have it bound to the P key instead of the default Q. So it takes more of a mental effort to throw stuff in it. Okay, so my drill came all the way out here as expected. Alright, so now I can sort of that out. Need to build an iron pipe, but it looks like it will get up here pretty quickly, so it should be fine. So now I need an iron transport pipe. Okay, so it's a couple pieces of iron. Like that, like that, like that. Here. Whoa! Did not me to fall like that. Okay, put it there like so. And then build a lever. Put it there. Okay. So now except won't that should probably turn this into an iron transport pipe as pipe as well. Which means I gotta turn that into a lever. And open. There, so now that will be like that. Yep. That will be like that. 
So anything coming up there will go straight through the diamond pipe. Anything coming through here will go straight through this pipe. And I've basically I've separated these two pipes. Good. So now I just need to deal with coming through here. So I think the easiest way to do this is oops, too far. Is to simply dig down through the floor. Hmm. Although I guess it doesn't really matter where. Oh, I know what I'll do. Because the one thing I don't want is for it to be constantly making the noise. So this is just yeah, okay. Oh, I'm fine. There we go. I'll have it come over there like that, down, and then they'll just free fall. Whoa, whoa. Where was this? Hmm. Well, yeah, they can just free fall down to, like, here. And then... Alright, yeah, that works. Okay. Cool. Oh, wait, this is the... Oh, yeah, this is in the back of the mob grinder. Okay. Alright. So I just gotta go get the nether rack, and I'll get this all set up, and we should be good. And then, the only remaining problem will be that in order for this to work, I'm gonna have to play on... I'll have it running on, um... Not on peaceful, because I like to be on peaceful when I'm just running around my base. In fact, I'm on peaceful right now, because I really am annoyed by the Endermen, because Endermen will spawn in my base, which is highly irritating. So, for this to work, I'm going to have to not be on peaceful, so I'm probably going to figure out some way of building a secure area or something, I don't know. Alright. There. Got my flint and steel. Stand over here. Hmm. Don't particularly like how close this is to my. Is this my mob grinder? Let's see. What is? What's this attached to? I think this is attached to my mob grinder. Yeah, okay, this is the wire that goes out to, um, probably either the pistons or the lights. Well, I mean, obviously, it's, this looks like it's the one that, yeah, it's the one of the water. This controls the water. Okay, so it's not any huge deal if I lose it. Alright, let's put that there. Put this like that. So now it'll just drop straight down into it and get destroyed. Now I just need to get back to my base. <laughs> there we go. So now in theory, as stuff gets killed, it will come over here and fill the food bowl. And anything, and if rotten flesh gets through all the way here, it will go down there and drop into the thing down there. Okay. So, it's still here. It, here. Eh, no button. But it looks like I can't hear it from up here. So it's good. Okay. You still in wandering mode? You're still in wandering mode. Plenty of flesh. Alright, so now come down here and do some tests. I'm so glad I automated that way back when I automated it. Well worth the effort. 
just be able to flip the switch or two, flip two switches and have it all turn on. Awesome. Okay, we got a skeleton. Two skeletons. And a zombie, there we go. Thinking I should switch it to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna switch it to... Both be zombies. I should probably turn this off. I mean, I like you, but I'd rather not have the light. Okay, so I believe I heard a zombie die. Don't see any rotten flesh, though. some of this glass. But it seems to work. Yeah, they're actually being pulled from a pretty large radius. They're not actually all getting all the way to the end. But that's alright. some rotten flesh. And it got pulled out. Alright. I guess I'm gonna leave that running. Come up here. Come around here. Yeah, I gotta deal with that. I'll deal with that in a second. Thirty-six. So I think it's been stocked a little bit. Wait for some flesh to go by here and make sure this works. So I can hear them dying, so that's good. Yep, here some comes. Looks like it gets slowed down a little bit, but it seems to be going okay, so... Alright, so I guess that's that, then. Now I just gotta set this up. It's obviously... If I've... Obviously it's just rotten flesh right now, but... Hmm. Let's just think here. Right, right now, it's set up to just drop zombies and they only drop rotten flesh, but eventually I will update to a future version and then they'll be dropping iron stuff, which will be really cool because it means I get lots of iron. Plus, if I've got it for skeletons, then I'll be dropping bones and arrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here like this and I'm going to this up so that it will sort that stuff out and down to here. So let's see, I think, and this is where I need my diamond pipe.
knew I should not have gotten rid of it. <laughs> At least it didn't take long to get back here. Alright. Take them both. And oh man, I had iron transport pipes. Oh well. Still have my Bane of Arthropod sword. <laughs> Don't want to get rid of it, but it's obviously pointless now. Okay, so... I think what I'll do is, since right now all I get, or all I could possibly get is bones and arrows, I'll have it set to go in these two chests. And then I think I'll set the third way just so that if anything else, it goes into the top chest. I like that plan. Alright, so... Diamond transport there. Although, actually, hmm. Uh, let me just think here. Problem is, is to do this as subtly as possible. Yeah, I guess I can just use multiple types. Alright, so this one black and green. Green will be bones. Black will be arrows. Okay. Do that. And then if an item does not fit either of those categories, then it will go out that way. No, I see. Okay, so this is black will go there and there. So black will filter out bones and arrows, send them down, and they'll split bones and arrows. Whereas everything else will go up there into that chest. Okay. I think this is completely set up. So now I just have to seal everything. Seal all records, deny its existence, and everything's fine. <laughs> and so now the only clue will be the back of those. You can sort of see there's a bit because the chests don't fill up their full block area. But, uh, you're down to 66, but you've got plenty of stuff. So this should work. So let's dump the extra pipes here. Oh, gold pipe. That's right. I was going to set up... Right. Okay. Let me do that. Let me grab some stuff there, because I'm curious to see. Okay. Now, I actually need to go down. Because, right. well, it doesn't really matter. I've got gold pipes, and I've got the redstone and whatnot, so I might as well make it good here. So we, this pipe takes me there, and then they slow down. I guess they don't really slow down enough to warrant the cost. So I think I'll just put the one here. And then there, like that. That will boost them over to there. And that should be fine. Okay. <laughs> one short. Alright, so now let's give this a quick test. Let's drop bones, arrows, and a resin. Okay, it is grabbing the item. It's, unfortunately, it's grabbed some one at a time because I'm only using a redstone engine. 
if I were to use higher level engines, it would grab them, um, more items at a time. But, oh well. Okay, so there they go. Yeah, they slow down, but then they boost back up again. So, very good. I think that with only two spawners, I should be able to keep up with the, uh, item drops. Yeah. Alright, so it's registering it. And it's already did the bones. And it'll probably do the redstone torch eventually. Alright, so that's good. So, oh, yeah, you probably noticed I've got lots of melons now. It did not take long at all for my melon farm to quickly grow a bunch of melons. And so, as you can see, I switched it over to pumpkins over here. So I've got pumpkins, melons, reeds, wheat, cacti, and all four passive animals. So I'm pretty pleased with my farm. The way I finally decided to do these is by staggering it. So these two are like this, these two are like this, those two are like that. And so that it will grow in this pattern. And, uh, yeah. So I'm quite pleased with that. Oh, and not to mention I have both regular and rubber trees in this massive room. So, yeah. Alright, so let's sit, dump off everything I've got right now. Let's see, glass goes... Not really, yeah, glass goes there. Arrows, let's see, I guess this stuff can go up here for the time being. Don't really know where else to put the stuff. I don't feel like going all the way back to the other chest. Alright, so. Okay. Okay, so that's done. And as, inter as luck would have it, that took about 30 minutes. So, I'm going to cut this here, and next part, I will work on the next uh, project. So that's good. You know, for being in wandering mode, he seems awfully fascinated by standing there, not doing anything. <laughs> but, it looks like this is filling up. Once this is filled all five stacks to 64, then... They won't be able to hold, the dog bowl won't be able to hold any more food, and so it'll s just pile up next to it, then get sucked up by the obsidian pipe and dumped on the flames. So it's a very efficient system. I know all this because I tested it, and that's how I was able to build it so quickly here, because I was building off a diagram that I'd built and then taken a picture of in a different test world, which is the advantage of test worlds. Alright, so I'm going to cut this here. See you in the next part.